Hello everyone. Are you afraid of the coronavirus? Are you worried that you might be losing your job because of how the pandemic is affecting the economy? If you are thinking of your own death from the virus and are concerned about what will happen to your beloved ones, if you actually die from catching the virus and leave them behind, you must listen to the following series of devotionals based on Psalm 23 for hope and daily spiritual strength and sustenance. You are safe in the hands of the Great Shepherd. Just listen to these messages from Psalm 23. God bless. The Lord is my shepherd. My cup overflows. Hello, my friend. Why don't we dedicate our time of devotion and reflection in Psalm 23 to the Lord in prayer? Let's pray together. Our Father and our God, thank you for giving us this opportunity to be together in your word in Psalm 23. And now we ask you to take us to that place, the fountain of life, the spring of life, where all your blessings for us overflows. Take us to your word now, specifically to Psalm 23, so that we would enjoy the overflowing of your love and care and shepherding. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My dear friend, in Psalm 23, the psalmist is endeavoring to express the blessedness of his condition as the sheep of God the Almighty in having God himself as his shepherd. In our two days, faith statement, which is very short, but the most expressive sentence, my cup overflows. He clearly shows you that because the Lord was his providing shepherd, he not only had enough of God's care and provision, but he had more than enough. He not only had enough of God's grace and provision, but more than enough. He not only had gladness and joy in God, his shepherd, and all his spiritual blessings upon him, but he had an excessive joy abundant joy. But the one interesting question that you and I need to ask this time is this, who is the one who is making this amazing faith statement, my cup of applause? He is David. He's King David. Now, very briefly, let us remember who King David was and what he went through in life. First, in his young age, he was a shepherd and he did encounter many, many dangers as a shepherd. In 1 Samuel 17, we do have an indication of David facing the danger of fighting against uh, lion and, and bear. After he married uh, King Saul's daughter, and the eyes of all the people were upon him for kingship, 
You remember King Saul hated him so much and went after his life. After he became a king, he committed a very gross sin. Two sins, actually. Adultery and murder. And because of that, he had to go through a very painful time of contrition. Contrition in his life. Not long after that, his own son Absalom rebelled against him and wanted to kill him. He was a king who was persecuted by his own child, his own son. As the leader of the nation of Israel, he was engaged in wars against the enemies of Israel. He was a man of bloodshed. Then you come to Psalm 23, and hear this psalmist, this king, King David, saying, My cup overflows. What? A man who went through all this crisis and hardships in life, saying to you this morning, Yes, indeed. My cup overflows. In the light of all these experiences of hardship and turmoil that I mentioned to you earlier, would you see David as a man over whom the Lord's blessings overflowed? In my opinion, there was no time in his life that he could have used this expression of great abundance, of gladness in his life, in relation to his temporal circumstances in life. But the point is, he just did. As he won, went through all these trials, and affliction in life, he still declared that his cup overflowed. The cup in which he was uh, holding all the divine blessings and benefits ran over his whole life. Including over all his temporal problems here on earth. We find the description of that in Psalm 6, 3. Where David himself said, Because your steadfast love is better than life, my lips will praise you. Did you hear that, my friend? Your steadfast love. Which means your care, your provision. Your protection, your preserving grace is better than life itself. Life and all its challenges, you and your shepherding care is better than them. You see, what David was revealing to you in, the, in that specific verse is God's unfailing love, His work of redemption and preservation is greater than this life, which means the life you live right now. What God provides to you as a shepherd is better than what you have and what you experience today. Be it good or bad. David made a similar statement of strong, powerful faith and assurance in Psalm 16, 11, when he said, in your presence there is fullness of joy. You see, my friend, that was the mystery, the secret, if you will, how the psalmist in and through a very difficult and painful journey in his life, was able to say that his cup 
of salvation and what flows out of it his uh, justification his sanctification his sonship the assurance of eternal love of God were running over all his troubles and problems in life through and in his uh, spiritual and believing eyes David saw God his shepherd giving him way way greater than what he asked or prayed for not just enough but more than enough it was overflowing and that my friend was because of the character and power of his shepherd Yahweh let's now hear Paul telling us how the Lord your shepherd showers all your blessings upon you and all his sheep Ephesians 3.20, now to him, meaning to God, who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we ask or think according to the power at work within us. This, my friend, is your God, your shepherd, your savior, your redeemer. When he visits your life with his loving kindness and blessings, he does it without any reservation. Do you remember how the same apostle, the apostle Paul, strengthens or strengthens this more and more in Philippians 4.19? Listen to his words. And my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. According to what? According to his riches. And imagine the riches of God. It's infinite. It has no end. And listen, the psalmist agreeing with Paul in Psalm 36, 8 and 9, they feast on the abundance of your house and you give them drink from the river of your delights. For with you is the fountain of life. Praise. Praise be to God. Dear friend, is this your cup today? The cup of God's uh, goodness and salvation and preservation in your life overflowing is that your cup today if not listen to the gentle and gracious instruction that Jesus Christ your good shepherd gave you seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you and who is his righteousness well God's righteousness my friend is Jesus Christ you must seek Jesus Christ first and the righteousness that he gives you freely and then the promises other things gladness and joy and other blessings in life spiritual and physical blessings from your shepherd not only they will be given to you not only you will have enough of them but they will overflow over your life and be seen by other people so that other people would see this good shepherd who belongs to you by covenant giving you an overflowing spiritual blessings amen
Today's devotional came to you from Redeemer Orthodox Presbyterian Church. The speaker today was Pastor Zacharias Weldiezus. If you have any questions from the devotional or any prayer requests that you would like the church to pray about, please send them to us using our church's email address, info at ropc dot o-r-g. If God's providence brings you to the Atlanta area, please come and worship the Lord together with us. We are located at 3930 Shambly Tucker Road, Atlanta, Georgia, 30340. Our worship services are every Sunday at 11 o'clock a.m. and 6 o'clock p.m. Sunday school for all ages begins at 945 a.m. For more information about who we are, please visit our website, www.ropc.org. Come and worship the Lord together with our church family.